Hello, I'm Pat Druckenmiller. Uh, I'm a vertebrate paleontologist. I study dinosaurs, and I'm also the director of the University of Alaska Museum of the North. And today we're going to talk Nanooksaurus. Um, so about in the year 2014, a new type of a tyrannosaur was recognized in Alaska, and it was given the name Nanooksaurus. Nanooksaurus is a considered to be a small, a diminutive tyrannosaur that lived about 70 million years ago alongside duck-billed dinosaurs like this one here, which we've named a Grunelug. And so these animals lived way up in the far north, in the north slope of Alaska, about 70 million years ago, and these would have been the top predators. And if you come in, I can show you a little bit more about what, what do we know about Nanooksaurus. And as it turns out, we really don't know much about this animal at all. The reason for that, uh, this, is a, this is a predator and the remains of fossil predator dinosaurs, theropods we call them, are actually really rare, they're hard to find. So here is what we know of Nanooksaurus. This, I'll say, is not Nanooksaurus. This is actually a, a juvenile skull of a Tyrannosaurus rex relative named Tarbosaurus. It's actually from Asia. And this is a replica. But let me point out what we, sh what we know about Nanooksaurus. And so far, here's what we've got. We have a little fragment of bone from right here. This bone's called the maxilla. We have a little of that. We have a chunk of bone from the top of the skull, the frontal and parietal. And then the other thing we have is just a little section of the lower jaw, about that much of it, um, and it actually is missing most of the teeth. So right now, that's about all we know of Nanooksaurus. So let's stop for a minute there, and I'm gonna show you what we have collected in our museum and see if that fills out any of the other interesting bits. All right, so what do we, what do we actually know about Nanooksaurus in terms of other bones besides the bits that were first used in the description of the new species? Well. Um, we at the Museum of the North here have collected more bits of this animal over the years. Uh, we, we don't have a ton either, uh, but we do have some interesting bits. So for example, we have uh, this little bit of bone right here, which is actually, uh, it's called the quadrate. And this little bone actually forms part of the jaw joint on the back of the skull, right, right back here. And this is actually the same size um, of an animal that, that this Tarbosaurus represents. We also have some other bones. For example, this is just uh, the top half of a big rib from Nanooksaurus. And um, so this is the part of the, the, the rib that sticks against the vertebrae up here like this. So this animal had, if you imagine, a vertebra here and another rib like this over here, you can see that this animal had a pretty large chest area. We also have some bones like this. This is actually one of the neck vertebrae and it shows something really neat, something we see on meat-eating dinosaurs. Is, this is called a pleurocele. That's a hole. It's a cavity in the side of the vertebra. Um, and that's a typical feature of meat-eating dinosaurs. We also have other vertebrae. So for example, this is, this is one tail vertebra right there. But one of the other interesting things that we have that I think tells us a little bit about its size is this is actually the tooth of Nanooksaurus. This is one of the largest teeth of Nanooksaurus that we found in Alaska. And if I run my finger up along the edge right there, I could feel it's serrated, just like a steak knife. And that serrated edge is both on the front and the back edge. So there's the front edge and there's the back edge of the tooth. And if you compare the size of this tooth to the size of teeth in this Tarbosaurus, you can see actually they're quite comparable. So the animal that we have, Nanooksaurus from Alaska, is the skull that animal was probably very much on the same size range as this individual of Tarbosaurus. And that is a big Tyrannosaur. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so there's much we have yet to, to learn about this animal, and we're going to be out digging up in northern Alaska every summer that we can, uh, hopefully slowly adding more pieces of information to the puzzle.